ours is the only temple where we have all three aspects of Krishna, Bhagavan, present. Devi Krishna, Adam Krishna, and Guru the elder Krishna, which is very really unusual. No other place has all three in one place. In Kerala, they have three different aspects, according to Bhagavati, Bhattanika, Bhagavati, and Guru uh, but there is a connection between those three, which they don't talk about, but uh, those are really, very really powerful temples. Uh, we have been there, many atras we have done uh, to those places on your, on your behalf. Uh, this is, these are the atras. Recently, I was uh, in Dwarka, just few months ago. We were wonderful in Atra. The whole city is underneath the ocean, underneath the water. 9,000 years ago, it was built. And you can see it clearly uh, if you have video, but they don't let you go into the water. But there is a temple in the coast where they recreated the final act when Krishna Bhagavan is lying down meditating. And the hunter hits him with the air, with the arrow, which is poison. And the whole entire drama is shown there. And I was there and they let me go closest to him and touch him. He was peacefully laying down. I could go thinking of all of you, thinking of all the devotees. I touched his toes gently. And it was a wonderful experience because it's almost like you are there, he is there, the hunter is there. The entire drama was recreated, and it was a wonderful, wonderful experience on your behalf. So you have to think of this drama because you are there, you are participating. Most of the thing is mental. You create in your mind what it is, and it becomes that. And of course, faith has to be there. And, but this drama, uh, Dwarka, was very real. And the way they created uh, the Krishna Bhagavan laying down peacefully is very lifelike. You, get, you really think he's alive. And then Hunter is hiding uh, uh, in a bush. And the place Hunter actually hid and uh, hid uh, Krishna Bhagavan with that is in the ocean. But it is in the shore of the ocean. In that place where the hunter hid, there is a uh, Suyam, Suyam Rino has come there. It is there. So I can see that, they did on that. Again, keeping you in mind, all of you, some I know, some I don't. But it doesn't matter. In my mind, all the devotees were there. And you are all the devotees. And today, it is a wonderful day. We did Radha Krishna and this evening we will do uh, uh, okay. hmm? Jagannath. Jagannath. Uh, last week we did uh, the Tata Yatra. It was wonderful. The mayor was there. Today we will come back home. That is this evening around 5.30 or 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Six so if you can make it, make it. We will take the chariot up to the end of the uh, temple, probably go out to the end of the Sarasota Street, then come back. All are very symbolic, very meaningful, and if you get involved, you will enjoy it, you will get the grace. And today is such a day where all of them are involved, and we did a wonderful Abhishek. Some of you participated. Abhishekams are very good. Homa is the best because in Homa you invoke Agni and use Swaha Devi as a mediator. So it's more meaningful, more powerful. Next would be Abhishek, where you use all the Abhishek and with your love, affection, reverence, you bake the deity. That's the symbolism of that. And all these are meaningful and are very helpful in attaining them, in reaching her. Ultimately, that is our aim. Go back to where we came from. 
we all came from one source, the pure consciousness, Mahamaya, that she's sitting there. You can call it any way you want, Tantikeshwari, Mahakali, Mahamaya, all of one pure, undivided consciousness, which was the only thing which existed. And that energy out of love wanted to experience her through us. So she created all the life forms, not just human, every life form. And through them, she experiences. us. That means we all came from her and we all go back to her. And these dramas and all these rituals we do, they are meaningful. You can see why they are meaningful. Because it's mind or matter. If your mind thinks intensely, she exists, she exists. There's no question. But without her, we won't be. So everything which exists in a life form comes from her. But she so shows out of kindness the ways to reach us, get back to her, go back to the origin. One of the examples is building this magnificent temple the way she wanted. She's manifesting in different forms, really pretty the aspects of her. Many of them I was not aware of. And this temple will have it. Uh, we will do the Kumbhavashikam on August 28th. There will be only three Sandhidamans, Kartikeya, Ganesha, and Divine Mother. Then as the year progresses, we will continue to add other Sandhidamans, including uh, Jagannathji. It will be a magnificent Jagannathji temple, just like the temple in Orissa. So each one we will try to create that temple in that place, wherever you are from, you remember that. But that's the temple you are seeing. So it's going to be a wonderful year. And she, out of kindness, making it because we have we do our part, mechanical part, at the design who should go where, which sanity should go where. That is the most important thing. And she decides that, she designed it, and uh, soon you we'll all get to go there and see that magnificent uh, uh, Sanitarius. And we we'll open it on August 28th, and then it will continue until the end of the year. We, the mother will give us a wonderful restaurant. I, I was in India, I met the top restaurant man in India. He's so devoted, he said he will come and he will make the restaurant for us. I think it's A to B or something. And they uh, will he'll bring the crew, so you are the most magnificent restaurant too. But you come here for higher food, the spiritual food, which she will give us. So today is such a day, think of all this in your mind and create your own story. Thank you.